Sherry's of Campbell Soup falling pre-market. The soup and snack maker announcing it is selling its international and fresh food businesses in hopes of regaining its financial footing. Campbell also reporting earnings that did beat by a penny. Revenue fell short. Back in May, Campbell announced it was conducting a review of its operations and holdings after it disclosed, quote, unacceptable earnings and, of course, the departure of its CEO, Denise Morrison. You two have been sort of tag-teaming this story in a big way. It's a big story today. Yeah. I want to hear from David well, what, what you're finding is next here. You're, you know, you, you have a much better focus on the overall business and what's been going on. But in terms of the theme that they're trying to, and the conference calls going on, it started at 8.30, still going on. They have fourth quarter earnings and, of course, this uh, this strategic announcement lousy, as well. by the way. Uh, the numbers were not good. Uh, but the theme that they're going with here is, listen, we are maintaining optionality, but we are going to go into this next year, year and a half. Uh, by selling this international unit that uh, generates about $250 million in EBITDA, we're going to be able to sell it, we expect, at a higher multiple than we currently trade at. Therefore, it'll be somewhat accretive overall, if you want to think of it that way. Uh, and we're selling fresh, where they have had a lot of missteps that Sarah has certainly uh, talked about uh, any number of times when they've missed, in part because of their missteps during a particular quarter. It's going to allow us to focus. We're going to be two, uh, just two focused segments and we're going to come out of 19 with different targets in terms of our organic growth rate, in terms of our expected growth rate for both uh, EBIT and for earnings. Uh, and then we still might sell the company, but we can do it off of what we expect will be a much healthier looking company. And therefore, we'll be able to command a far higher, far higher number than we currently could if we moved to a sale. But Sarah, the question, of course, is, are shareholders, beleaguered shareholders, going to believe it, particularly given the continued underperformance of soup? 14% decline in the quarter. I mean, how healthy does that business look? That's going to be, that, so their core businesses now are going to be the soups and the beverages and the meals under the Campbell's brand and the snacks, which they, everyone on Wall Street said, overpaid for that Snyder's Lance acquisition, which a lot of other companies had looked, like, looked at and said the distribution was not that great. So that's what's left of the company. And by the way, it's soup is domestic. a global category, they say, has shown growth over the last 52 weeks. So clearly they're losing share as well. And, and the questions here are going to be about execution. Okay, you're telling us you can do all these things, but it's possible that if you were to sell the company, another buyer could just as easily sell off the international assets as you can. Uh, and perhaps they can execute better. I, I, you know, that will be a key question here under this interim management still. Right, right no CEO. No CEO. Denise Morrison was booted last quarter right. after seven years on the job. And, and some of those failed acquisitions, like Bold House Brands, which was a disaster, couldn't figure out how to get fresh carrots. Uh, and that was supposed to be the growth, right? That's where the growth in the grocery store was happening. 140 million EBITDA, EBITDA business to 40 million. I mean, it barely makes any money at this point. And they're just going to sort of get rid of it to the, to the point of trying to streamline the company again to this idea of having two segments where you can focus on getting the cost cutting, focus on delivering the synergies that you've already underwritten when you took on the Snyder's Lands deal, but now say that you're really going to 50% of this company will be snacks. Right, which, which in general in the food business is kind of a growth area, uh, but they've got a lot of debt on their balance sheet as a result of that very high Snyder's Lands purchase. I think there's something for the bulls and the bears here. The bulls will say, at least the company's open to a sale. You know, they're, they're leaving the door open to that. The bears would say, well, isn't every public company theoretically should be open to a sale? And what's actually left of the core business here if you're going to talk about declining soup sales and a tough to manage snacks business with some distribution problems. Uh, how much do we have to look uh, at Loeb's reaction to all of this, right? Yeah, I mean, that's going to be a key here. Um, at this point, I think if you're Dan Loeb, you want to sit back for a moment at least, gather your thoughts, listen to the conference call, talk to people, see what the reaction is.